Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. Super excited that you're joining me today in my studio for today's Crafty Fun. Yay! I hope everyone had a fabulous Christmas. Yes? I sure hope so. So today's project is, uh, we're not live today like we normally are. We are pre-recorded because I'm on vacation enjoying some family time, but we never want to miss our crafty project if we can avoid it, right? So I pre-recorded today's video for you, and uh, I've got, I think it's a super cute project that we're going to love, right? All right, let's go ahead and switch the camera over, and we will get started on our crafty fun, right? All right. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. All right, who knows what my camera's gonna do today, but we will see if we can work this out. Um, and hopefully it will all go very smoothly. So today I'm mixing some upcoming products with some current products. Um, lots and lots of fun. So this is a new stamp set that is coming our way. Oh, it's focusing crazy. How do I get it to stop doing that? I do not know why it's going to zoom in on me. Um, so this is the new Watercolor Melon stamp set. And yes, it wants to show you nice up close the images. <laughs> so silly the way it's doing that, right? Um, so this is a new upcoming celebration stamp set. So celebration starts on January 4th. And what that is, is for every $50 you spend in the US before shipping and tax, you get a free item out of the celebration brochure. Now there are some what I call level two items, which when you spend a hundred dollars, you get those, they're a little beefier, but this is one of the ones that you got with a $50 purchase and it's super cute. And I'm so ready for summer that it makes me think of summer. So I love it. And I've paired it today with the hope, you know, stamp set. So this is kind of um, more of a stamp set that's kind of geared towards uh, it's not necessary sympathy, but, um, you know, it does have some very much thinking of you type sentiments. But what I loved in this one was you are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. So that is why I've paired these two together. And today's project is this one right here. So we're doing a little quick fun fold melon card. So using a little bit of the stamp sets from the watercolor melon stamp set, um, and then making a little fun fold card, right? So this is fast and easy. I'm gonna show you guys how to create this one. All right, so as normal, if you expand the video description, you will see the complete supply list with links to be able to add the products to your cart. Now the watercolor melon stamp set will be listed, but there won't be a hot link to that yet because that won't be available until celebration starts January 4th with the new mini catalog and all that fun stuff. So, um, but that will be, the item number will be added there for you. Now, if you can't wait to get your hands on some of these new products, like this lovely glass mat below me, um, demonstrators can pre-order products right now and pre-earn celebration. So we get an extra month. Um, of course, if you're wanting to get this lovely glass mat studio, um, for free, you can get that um, with the starters kit starting January 4th as part of the celebration promotion. And I love this glass mat. So fun to use. All right. So we are using the uh, card base is Grand Apple Green. And I've embossed the front of it with the stripes and splatters embossing powder. So this is the stripes, obviously, not the splatters, right? Okay, so let's slide that over. Hopefully this is gonna stay in focus for us. We'll see what happens. And I'm gonna just fold this. I've got this scored right in the front here. We're gonna fold that over and give that a good crease. So this card base is uh, seven and a quarter by five and a half. And then this is scored at three inches over to create this layer right here. Okay, for the inside, we've got a piece that's three and a half by four and a quarter, and we've scored it at a half inch. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold that, give that a nice crease there as well. Now, I'm going to adhere this tab right to my card base to create this front fold here. 
So let's pull out, you could use stamp and seal. Um, you could use tear and tape, whatever makes your heart happy. I'm gonna go ahead and just run some stamp and seal or I say I'm gonna run some stamp and seal. All right, so when your tape runner isn't running, right? This is when you need your silicone craft sheet, which looks like I have stolen my silicone craft sheet from my handy dandy card here. So I'm gonna have to grab one from across the room, which happens to me all the time because I do steal my supplies from one surface to the other, which I should stop doing, right? But a silicone craft sheet is your savior. So anytime your ink's not running or your adhesive's not running, just run it really quickly up across that silicone craft sheet and it will magically run again. And then you can avoid that whole trying to advance it and then it doesn't work again and all that fun stuff. I found that that has been my savior. All right, so I'm just folding this tab under and I'm aligning it on the edge of the space. Now, I am on this, this lovely glass mat. So I can use the grid right on my mat surface to align this so I'm centered top to bottom. Isn't that fun? Oh, my lighting is not, not so good. Let's see if I can get that a little bit better. So that's one thing I'm playing with is lighting. Oh my gosh, lighting is crazy trying to get that right for this. So we'll see if we can hopefully keep that working so that you guys can see all right. All right, so we've got this folded over and that is our basic of our card base. Now that's ugly, so we wanna cover that up. So let's bring in our white layer and I'm going to stamp on this in Memento ink with that lovely Hope You Know stamp set. Okay, so we'll just ink that up. All right, and we will hopefully get this somewhat straight and centered. It is very difficult to see when I'm on video, as you guys know, I've mentioned that before. So not the easiest to do when stamping, but that's okay. We'll get it all worked out. Okay, so we've got our beautiful layer here and I am going to just run some adhesive right on that layer and bring in that right there and get that structured right down. So beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, so let's get our, on the inside, I wanna decorate that as well. So I'm bringing in a piece of designer series paper. So this is from the Zoo Crew paper that is in our annual catalog. You can see the little creatures on the back. It's got great black and white prints that you can use for all occasions. So even if you're not a fan of the little critters that are in that one, they are kind of cute. But if you're not a fan, you can still use the back sides of those papers to decorate. All right, so let's work on this front decoration here. So the first thing I wanna do is I have got three little strips of melon, or melon mambo, granny apple green foil paper. So this paper is sadly retiring. Uh, the pack is marked down to $9 where it's normally 10. And um, it comes with the Granny Apple Green and Melon Mambo. So this is one you want to get before it's gone. So I've got three strips I'm going to put down here. Well, I say I am. There we go. We'll put one on this edge as well. Super cute. So this is kind of mimicking the rind. Hope I'm saying that right. Of my watermelon. Right, and then I can get that centered here. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're concerned, again, pull out your grid and you can kind of see what you've got going on and make adjustments from there, which is super nice, right? All right, so let's set this aside. Let's bring in our sweet sorbet layer here. And I just wanna make sure I check my orientation so it is not that way. It is this way, right? Check your orientation when you are dealing with pieces that are not square, right? Important, super important. Now, I want to go ahead and stamp the super cute seeds. So this is from that watercolor melon stamp set. Oh, and so I missed stamp. So look at that. Photopolymer is very forgiving. So I can stamp it again. Okay, it didn't work, so we'll flip it over. <laughs> that happens sometimes, right? I um, will tell you with this particular stamp set, I do tend to rock it a little bit. Um, and see, we can stamp right on this glass mat. And then I am not using a ton of scrap paper 
to put down under my projects here. And then we'll be able to just wipe that away. I did not prep the, uh, the lovely cloth that comes with this. It's a nice big cloth. I'll, I'll grab it so you can see it, but it's dry. I forgot to wet it and re-moisten it. So let me grab that and show that to you. It's a nice big, um, it's like a skinny chamois, right? And so when it dries, it gets hard, right? Like this. But I can just run this quickly under the water and it moistens it super, super quickly. Um, and then I can use that to just wipe away the surface here. Now, since I did not do that, right, I'm just going to take a quick paper towel and just wipe away that ink right off my surface so I don't get it on something I don't want it to be on, right? All right, so we can go ahead and adhere this lovely sweet sorbet piece right on top of that granny apple green layer. And again, I want this right up at the top here. And I want it over on this edge. Okay, so that's secured down nicely. So let's finish the strip in the middle here. So what I've got is a piece of white cardstock. And I'm going to take a little bit of this gingham ribbon and I'm going to wrap this around. So I've got excessive amount of ribbon. So let's just clip off what we don't need, right? Okay. And then I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of this piece on the end. Well, I say I'm going to, let's get that on there. Okay, and then I can wrap my ribbon right across this top edge to the back. Now, if you wanna leave a little white space showing, you can, you don't have to, right? So then I'm gonna add a little bit more adhesive right over the top of that ribbon, I say I'm going to. There we go. Sometimes that's hard to grip onto, right? When you've got stick them already on it. All right, so there we go. Now you could use glue dots as well if this is causing a problem for you, right? Uh, and so I'm gonna lay that right down. And you know, you can straddle, it doesn't matter how far. Well, it does matter. Look at that, I grabbed this, the wrong piece. I grabbed a piece that was way too short. So no wonder my ribbon was too long. We're gonna try this again, aren't we? So funny, you gotta laugh, right? Because it should be three inches long and I bet you, I bet you I did something not quite correct on that. So let's see if this is, this is the right one. This was the right one. All right, so that's okay. I'm gonna just kill this one. We'll just pull that ribbon right off of it. Well, easier said than done because I stuck that down really nicely, <laughs> right? Okay, you guys know, I do make mistakes, right? No one is perfect. Well, there might be someone perfect out there, but it sure isn't me. Um, crafting, you know, it's trial and error. And sometimes it works out really easily for us. And other times it does not. It's not quite what we wanted it to be. Now, I will say some of my, my best cards um, resulted from happy accidents, right? Where you mess things up. Now, that was pretty bad. So I had to fix that and get a new piece. So that is supposed to be three inches long. And of course I had grabbed one that was too short. All right, so now that is secured down in place. So we're just mimicking a slice of watermelon with our layer there. And I think that's adorable. All right, let's do our little tag. So what I wanna do is I wanna mask off this sentiment. So it says, hello friend, but I only want the hello. So sometimes, depending on the stamp, you're able to just ink up a portion of the words, right? Now this one, it's a little close. So I want to use some washi tape. You could use painter's tape, whatever you've got. I know I've got my friend Ginger doesn't like it when I use washi tape because she's like, no, it's too pretty. Don't use washi tape. But I have some that's uh, left over from a while back. And so I'm going to use my washi tape. So I'm just going to take it and put it right on my stamp. So there's a little um, comma, right? Right after that, hello, I don't want that. And I don't want the friend. So I'm gonna take a couple pieces here. If I can get this off, Woo, it's on there, good. All right, and then we will mask off this part as well. You can use sticky notes, you can use masking paper, lots of different choices in how you go about masking your sentiment off. Okay. So now let's ink this up. 
and you can see I've got my hello, nice and inky, but my washi tape is also inky. Super important to remember to remove the tape before you stamp the image down on your cardstock, <laughs> right? That is an important thing. So there we go. We got just our hello because we masked that right off. Now, I am going to pull in the sadly retiring sending cheer dies. I love these. And there is a little, little tag that I really like out of there. And so I'm going to grab that and we'll grab our mini stamp and cut and emboss. Now, hopefully this will work out for us and I won't make too big of a mess with this. But let's bring our little machine in here. Get that opened. Love this baby machine. Okay, so cutting plate one, and then it tells me plate two, and it tells me a second plate two, but I don't follow directions when I'm dealing with um, dies like this. They're open, you know, they're they're not very detailed. I find that I, I have better success if I use plate four. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully that didn't slide on me. If it did, it's okay, we can do it again. We're gonna crank this through. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Let's pull this out. And we have our super cute tag ready to go. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right. Now, again, if that was a detailed, like if that was an intricate die, I could not use plate four. I would need to follow directions and use the plate two as instructed, right? So these dies are marked down. They are on special and you can get them for a steal of a deal. So definitely check those out if you love those. It makes me just sad that they're leaving us. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back. You could use liquid glue if you prefer. I'm just tacking it in place, just up at the top so it's loose at the bottom here. Now you could pop it up with dimensionals if you prefer, that's entirely up to you. All right, so let's grab a little bit more ribbon. And I like to leave mine on the spool. You can cut it off. It's about nine, 10 inches for a bow typically. Sometimes I can do it in eight inches. It depends on the width of the ribbon and how big of a bow I want. But I'm just holding the knot and pulling that until I'm happy with my loops. And then I can just trim away the excess with my snips. Perfect. And then we're gonna glue dot that on. Now you might hear me sometimes say booger it on because I refer to glue dots as boogers. If you didn't already know that about me. Um, yeah, it's gross. I know, but it, it just reminds me of when my kids were little and they had those, you know, when they would get that snotty nose and you'd be like, oh my God, I can't even get that off their face. Right. That's how wonderful our glue dots are. You can't get them off. <laughs> no, you can, but they're just super sticky and we're great. All right, so now let's pull in some of my favorite embellishments, which is the Sparkle Adhesive Back Gems. So they come in gold, silver, and black. And I love that you can color the gold and silver if you need uh, another color. Like I've colored the gold ones red, right? And had a wonderful uh, gold and red color, which turned out really nicely for the project I was using it on. So you can kind of change this up. So you can use all one size. You can use different sizes. I think I used all one size on the original, but I think I'm going to mix it up this time and use a couple of different sizes here. Now you could put them right where the seeds already were, or you can just sprinkle them in whatever makes your heart happy, right? So it just adds a little, little fun bling to the front of your project. So what do you guys think? Super easy, fun folds. Yes. And just adorable and a perfect card to send somebody to let them know that you're thinking of them, right? Hello, you are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. What a great, what a great project to send out to somebody, right? I think so. Um, I've got registration going on for a couple things right now. Um, I am doing a mini catalog share. So that is where you can get a sampling of all the different designer series papers. And I do have an add-on option to add the ribbons as well. If you're a ribbon fan and would like a sampling of all of those, it's a nice way to go about it. It, it saves you a little money and then it lets you try out all the different products and see which ones you love that you want full packages of, right? 
So it gives you a little dabble uh, at a better price. So that's going on now. So you can see those details on my website, uh, creativelyyours.com. Uh, let's see, we also have registration going on for our next Cultivated Creativity Kit, which is our DIY paper crafting uh, subscription that we do every month. Um, while it is a subscription, you can cancel it anytime. So if you want to do one month, you just cancel it. You can sign back up whenever you want. But once you've done six consecutive months, you get a little gifty from me. So um, that is super fun. And we are featuring the new B mine suite out of the mini catalog so while you might look at that stamp set and say oh that's kind of valentine-ish it it does have some valent valentine in there but it's overall just love right like you're as sweet as honey right or you make my heart buzz i love you so it doesn't have to be valentine centric and we've got some awesome cards to share with you um we are doing some some fun folds this time trying to keep it a little simple yeah but uh but it's it's a good it's a really good class and there will be a preview video sneak peek video going up uh first week of january on that as well all right thank you all so much for joining me today i hope you love this project and if you've got questions on anything please let me know and i will come back and answer them have a great week i will see you next tuesday bye for now